Hi, and welcome to my guide of the tutorial of Brighter Shores. This game is played using the left mouse button only. Talking to your first NPC is left clicking on it. Selecting any conversation options is also left click. And moving your character outside is also done by left clicking on any tiles on the main screen. Using your minimap will not work. Once you are outside, Head to the southeastern part of the training ground to Corporal Bins. Let's talk to him and select any option. Afterwards, select option 1. I'll get right on it, sir. Next, let's open the quest list in the top right corner and click on the main story quest to learn about your quest progress. And it says that we need to go to the Quartermaster, who's located inside just a bit further east. Let's talk to him and select the first option. I've been sent here to fetch my guard equipment. Selecting this will spawn a sword in your backpack on the left side. Let's left click on it and equip. And once we've done that, let's head outside and continue north to the mage called Sandorman. Let's select option 1. I've been told to ask you for guard magic access. And after speaking to the mage, while we're here, let's continue going northeast and click on the Hope Port Portal Stone to unlock its teleport. And once we have activated the Portal Stone, let's return to Corporal Bins. Next to the Corporal, or at least close to him, you'll find another mage called Sultar Malzak. Let's talk to him and select option 2. That I'm told that you can teach me some magic. Then talk to him again and select option 2 again. I'd like to see a demonstration of your imminent magic. To gain one free silver coin. Click to continue on your money pouch and also click on the teleport. Use the teleport to teleport to the Hope Port Portal Stone. And once you've teleported, make your way back to Malzak and select option 1. Is there any more magic that you can teach me? You will get taught the Sense Spell. After we have been taught that spell, let's return to Corporal Bins to start a cutscene. After the cutscene is over, go a bit east and talk to Delina and select option 1. That the goblins are invading and that she needs to head to the barracks gate. But she has lost her bow and we will need to find it for her. Next, go inside the barracks behind her and talk to both the NPCs. Talk to the Blaine and select option 1 twice. Then afterwards, talk to Germain and select option 1. Once both of them are heading to the gates, go a bit south and use your sense spell to see what bed that you can search, which should be the second most southeastern one. Search it to find the lost bow. Let's head back outside and click on Delina. Use item on, then click on the bow to give it to her. Then follow her to Corporal Bins. Let's talk to him to finish our training ground section of this tutorial. Next, let's head to Stone Street and we'll find that a merchant is getting attacked by two goblin thieves. 
Let's click on one of the two goblins and select your sword as a weapon. And now we simply need to wait for the goblin to be defeated. This is a tutorial and you should never be able to get defeated. Simply wait until the first goblin is defeated and then also attack and defeat the second goblin. Once you finish combat in this game, your health will be automatically put back to maximum. So there's no need to worry and simply attack the second goblin. Even if you were to die anywhere in this game, there is no repercussion besides a little bit of time loss, as you will respawn back in the training grounds. After you have defeated the second goblin, the merchant will thank you and he will ask you to do him one small favor. Let's talk to him to ask what the favor is and then click on the crate next to him to start carrying it. Then talk to the merchant again and start following him to the town square. At the town square, immediately turn right and there you will find the merchant. Let's talk to him, then click on the card next to him and place the crate on top of it. Then talk to the merchant again to start another cutscene as well as claiming a nice reward in some coin. After you've got called back, return to Stone Street and talk to Corporal Bins, who's standing next to the captain who's lying hurt. And let's select any option twice. And next, enter the building next door, that is the apothecary, and talk to the shop owner called Epsworth. And select option 1, that the captain is lying hurt in Stone Street. When the shop owner is coming to help, also exit the store and talk to Epsworth, to see what is needed to help the captain. And what he will need is some brown kelp. So let's head south to East Beach. But when we go south of Town Square, we'll get ambushed by two more goblins. Simply defeat both of them and continue your journey southward until you hit the waterfront. At the waterfront, go west, and you will get ambushed by two more goblins. Defeat both of them and continue westward into the next chunk. In the next chunk, go south into East Beach.
once they are defeated, continue westward to Sea Road and at Sea Road go south to East Beach. At East Beach, if you use your sense spell or just simply click on the brown rocks, you'll see that you can discover these rocks. If you do so, those are level 0 brown kelp. Forage at least one brown kelp and then make your way back north, then east, back to the west waterfront, then central waterfront, and then make our way back up north, back to Stone Street. Back in Stone Street, let's talk to Epsworth and he will ask you to make the preparation for this reagent. To do so, let's go inside the apothecary and at the counter next to that big book which is the profession's guide, click on a station next to it and discover which is the reagent preparation station. Click on it again and then select your brown kelp. After we are done with preparing the reagent, Let's go back outside and return to Epsworth. Next, he will ask us to make a potion out of this prepared reagent. So, let's head back inside the apothecary and let's go north next to the reagent and the potion storage and there click on a standard potion station. And you will automatically start potion making. Once you've made your first potion, let's go back outside and use this potion on the captain laying on the ground. After we've given the captain our healing potion, this will trigger one of the final cutscenes. After this cutscene is over, let's make our way back into the training grounds and talk to Corporal Bins for the final time in this tutorial. During this cutscene, we will get taught one more magic spell, which is called Immunity. When you get attacked in this game, you must fight back similar to RuneScape Classic. However, if you don't want to fight back, then you can cast this Immunity spell, and after the monster has dealt 3 damage onto you, then you will be able to run away. Which is basically almost the same mechanics as in RuneScape Classic. And congratulations, you've completed the tutorial. To completely finish off the tutorial, let's talk to Corporal Bins and he will say that to continue the main storyline, you must first get your total hope port level to level 60. And the second requirement is that you must go talk to Robin Knock Knight to start your archery training. But to be able to do that, you must first reach guard level 15. If you want to train your guard level, then I suggest you to head a little bit further west into the sparring area. Then simply click on any sparring guard and start attacking him. Doing this will also grant you with either some equipment upgrade or a little bit of money. I would suggest you to grind here until about level 10. If you want to train your guard level a little bit more relaxed, then I suggest to explore the map and look for monsters on the map that are marked as red as these monsters will automatically attack you once your immunity has run out. So for example here at the town gate, the irritatable goblin chiefs will automatically attack me once this immunity timer runs out. 
The ones that will also attack me are the thief, goblin soldiers, and ghouls all the way up northeast. But in my opinion, the goblin chiefs are the best. And from level 10, you should be able to complete your first novice quest, which is called the obelisk. How to complete the obelisk quest? Therefore, you will need to watch my obelisk quest guide. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. The guy is hitting 24s on me when this slow ass potion is healing me 20s. Are you serious? Safe spots for the win.